Welcome to the final part of Mega Man 7 and yeah it's only three parts this time because thankfully unlike 4, 5 and 6 we don't have any of this it's actually this person, no wait it's Wily, so we'll bollocks. We just go straight into going after Wily. Although we do have a little bit of a plot twist here because base this guy who we thought might have been helping us is actually a bad guy, who would not you? Well he is purple. The colour of bad guys really. They kind of use <laughs> the official f yeah. the official colour of bad guys. <laughs> well how often do you Black, see the colour purple and red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how often do you see purple as a positive colour really? Less windy. I don't see it as a positive okay, or negative I'll give colour. You I just one. see it as a yeah. colour. <laughs> yeah well I suppose Martian Man on her. He's green. <laughs> no but he's got Blue. a purple costume. Okay. Blue, isn't it? Who's that? It is purple. Oh, well, purple. yeah, yeah. Injustice. Yeah, um, I just forget a lot of characters, honestly. But Wily is a big bad, and God, his head looks awkwardly shaped in that. <laughs> it's crane. <laughs> As if it don't look oddly shaped anyway. Yeah, I know, but it looked yeah, like it it's been kind of crushed. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it'd been pushed inwards, and he, like his head was, was gone up. <laughs> Now, this is a feature that I'm only going to show off on screen what once. The fuck, this is so derpy. Is yeah. that? That's a shop. <laughs> That's a shop? What the fuck? Yeah, we go in here and we can use these like screws and bolts and things we've been picking up. I don't know if they had shop with faces like eight and like. Pokemon series, can you imagine it? All the major departments that you go through in every game. So, have that one big shop done it in the yeah. one of cities. <laughs> Just have that with fucking eyes. You think, fuck this shit, yeah. I'm, a, fuck, I'm going to New Bar Town, <laughs> fuck this. Yeah. I'm, I'm more concerned about the fact that they just sort of drop out the sky on you. Like, yeah. Yeah. What happens to the people who are shopping inside? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they just sort of get flung up in it, their heads on the ceiling. That's so health and safety, but it's fine. Back down. To be honest, it would be quite good, like. Just put ring up and then you get let Tesco Metro like just drop down the doorstep. <laughs> One thing I'll never understand: in Crystal City with a big de shopping department, they had chairs that were lifted up by balloons. What? The, what? Why did they have that? I don't know. Yeah, that was awkward. Like, it's nothing to do with the city itself. It's just they randomly had long chairs like lifted up by balloons. You know, like. Got it good. makes more sense if it was faster. And I mean, uh, you can't really connect anything with that. But at least the gym leader has a drift blim. Yeah, but uh, uh, be contextually appropriate. Yeah. If nothing else. But, but like Chris, you're saying about the shops dropping there, you could just have like uh, that thing Amazon wanted to do a while back. You know, where they have the droid things sort of fly in and drop your post, your package off. Really? Yeah, well, it's they, like an idea they proposed and I don't think they could ever get like the proper rights to do it properly, but it's like a little little thing that would just sort of fly in to the address they've been sent to. <laughs> God, it's like, it's like owls in Harry Potter, but with robots or whatever. <laughs> like, what I think heck? it could be pretty cool, but it could also lead things open to like theft and that if, you know, it get, gets hijacked and shit. Mm. But Plus, yeah, but if there, if there was a Tesco's that just suddenly dropped down on your house, <laughs> it's like, you crushed my house and my family. Yeah, but we're on time. <laughs> and we got a few discounts as well. Yeah, we got discounts <laughs> on yeah. all of your favourite products. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know this is going off topic, but you know Drifloon from the Pokemon series? Mm. It's a ghost balloon. Like, yeah. What is haunting about that? Oh, that's the least haunting thing ever. Uh, it's, 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 it's so unscary. Well, Drifloon is capable of kidnapping children who grab hold of it, but unfortunately they end up swinging it around. Yeah, instead. but then they shouldn't be that dumb <laughs> to like go up and grab a balloon. Yeah. If you can't tell, I'm getting a little bit frustrated yeah. by the fact I'm not very good at rush jet. <laughs> I won't get in anywhere near close, like far enough away to have that build up of lifting myself up. By the fact that you're not very good at all. <laughs> I said in an earlier part I'm not very good at this game. Come on now. <laughs> uh, I've got a fairly decent run. Like I'm doing some stupid shit all the way through it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that animation. I've never seen a move like that before. No, but like, it's... I've removed all the depths which I wasn't doing in the old Mega Man ones, but other than that, like, yeah. So I'm you've been stupid. lying to us. What? You've been lying to us and you've made it look like a... clean, straightforward run of it. 
No. No, I just think this is a more kind of clean way to present the run and like that thing I used to do where I just used to leave me dying to the robot master in and then you know it just waste a bit more time and I think given these this game is quite a bit longer anyway like these parts going for a while as it is I didn't really want to waste any more time with me fucking up and dying yeah that Robot a moment ago seemed a bit suicidal. Yeah. It got rid of all the tyres it was surrounded with, its only weapons, while you were out of range, and then it jumped off the edge into the abyss. <laughs> yeah, some of them do that. It's kind of like the Green Coopers, really, isn't it? Like, they just sort of, okay, I'm, I guess I'm just going to walk to my doom now. And the Goombas. I wonder what it is about the green ones that like they didn't get the same brain cells the red ones did. What a genetic default. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is annoying me a little bit. <laughs> Maybe they've got brain damage by being stumped in the air so many times. Yeah. What, Bowser's just recycling them? Oh god. He's got to make a use of it, remedy. No, they're the dry bones. <laughs> they just... Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> they are the zombie Coopers, aren't they, really? Yeah, why doesn't he use an army of them? They can only be defeated by the superstar. Oh, the star one, yeah. Although they can be beat by the ice flower as well, can't they? Like, if you freeze them and then you can drop them and oh, that yeah. breaks them. But, yeah, there's not really much you can do. You can kill them by fire, couldn't you? Can, um, well, I can suppose you're like they'd permanently die if you um, put them in a the fire. Oh, if you knock them off? Yeah, if you like, knock them off at the end of the fire. I think... Well, I'm trying to think of the weapons you can use now to like knock them off the edge, because like, there's the ice flower, obviously. You like, can use the Cooper shell, we can barge them into that. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Does that knock them back, or does that I just crush them down? I think it might just crush them down, uh, hmm. I think we talked about it. Yeah, like, I've been playing Mario Maker and I'm starting to get a little bit more of Mario logic in my mind, even if the levels I make are, like, deliberately shitty, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's just me being an arsehole more than anything. But, yeah, we've beat base, but don't worry, he'll be back. I'll be back for revenge! Now this is where base comes back with a dubstep beam. <laughs> Big dirty stinking bass. <laughs> dirty stinking bass. Is that Super Guts Man? <laughs> yeah, this is the upgraded Guts Man from when Wily stole him. It's really not that difficult of a boss. Like, you use the slash claw to break the things that drop down and him. The ideal thing to do is if one lands a little bit forward, then you can, like, knock it back into him and that damages him. If he manages to break it himself, then it's kind of a lost round, although you can still hit him on the head. Why doesn't Wily just marry Guts, man? <laughs> He's quite clearly obsessed with him. There's probably a fanfic for Most that already. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no details, please. <laughs> yeah, people will pair anything with anything. <laughs> no details, please, we're normal. <laughs> It's not my fault if I think on the Chow and the Bio Lizard would be a cute couple. <laughs> Still can't I rephrase that, we're normal, except for you. <laughs> Still can't get over the fact that Shadow and the Bio Lizard are essentially siblings. Yeah, like, I, it's, we've said this many a time like, throughout our essay doing that, but like, design philosophy goes from giant fucking lizard, hedgehog. Same, I same think Bio Lizard is a perfect role model for go Shadow, from, actually. <laughs> go from Space Demon, Giant Lizard, Hedgehog. That's yeah. the natural progression of evolution, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was one fucking what awkward show, of Jeremy Kyle. Wiley well, like, looks like <laughs> fucking like, panicky in that title screen. Yeah, well, he knows, like, he knows what's going to happen at this mm. point. He must do. <laughs> one thing about these, I don't mind these stages. Like They're climactic. They're more interesting than the other mm. stages, but they do drag out, don't they? Yeah, especially in this game in particular. Yeah. You've I, got five on this, haven't you? Well, Is it usually four in most games? Well, I, I don't think there's like a set thing, because like, some of them do like that fake out thing, don't they? Where it's yeah, like yeah, they have a little secret yeah. level. Is that a shit? robot turtle on the wall? Oh, um, <laughs> we're going to see more of them in a while. It's something I noticed, and it's something I've only really noticed since I've been like recording LPs and stuff, that you, 
you notice time discrepancies because like most of the Wily stage parts we've done for the other games have been about 20 minutes long. This is like 38, so it's, something's padding out here somewhere and I don't think I played that poorly. So this is doing the thing where it pads out the Wily stages with little assets from all the Robot Master stages which they've done in every game up to this point and it seems like a pretty smooth way to conclude a Mega Man game because everything you've done so far is coming together in one series of stages. Oh, this section. Right. Fuck, it's a space station, it's the Death Star. <laughs> how, how could this Star Wars like? It does, right. doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, watch this. Look how stupid this, like this Obi -Wan can get. Obi-Wan versus um, Darth Vader. Fusion! <laughs> Ah. <laughs> it's, it's so silly, isn't it? It looks like he's from Night. <laughs> I guess a little bit. Like, the like, way that you're all like transformed and looking at your design and his design, it looks like you're fighting. So <laughs> two kill the kill characters fighting each other. More specifically, Ryoko and Setsuka. If you know what I'm talking about, then. Yeah, this does look awesome. anime as fuck. This yeah, is an anime does. battle, especially with, like they're flying around and shit. <laughs> feels... This looks like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> you fused with your dog, and now I shall do the exact same thing. Yeah, we're to now. match you in power. <laughs> I have exactly transformed my dog. Now you must do the same with your cam canine companion. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just thinking from what Stephen's saying. Like you may know everything I'm going to do. But that's not going to help you! <laughs> I forgot the actual You bit. know everything I'm going to do, and I know everything that you're going to do. Strange, Strange isn't, isn't it? it? That's the one, yeah. yeah. Why can't I destroy it? Maybe because you're fucking shit, Pice. You guys are nerdy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you're second hand, Base. <laughs> yeah, Base is like the refurbished model. <laughs> I mean, we've already established the fact that Wiley is practically running on a limited budget at this point. Mm. A very limited budget. Ah, oh, look, the return of the springs. Yes, and look where they've been fucking placed. <laughs> this isn't obnoxious at all. Whenever I think of springs, I think of wacky workbench. Oh, fuck that level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love Sonic CD, but fuck that level. That didn't give me that much problems. Actually. It doesn't give you that much problems, it's just. Annoying. Yeah, it's one of them things where, like we were saying about yeah, one thing earlier. It's just one of those levels where you've got to hope to land in the right place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Is Mega Man using a rocket punch? Yeah. Huh. That's one of the rocket Pretty much, don't hit the floor and you're good. So he absorbed Android 16. That reference went way over my head. Dragon Ball Z reference. Oh, God, okay, yeah. That's why that reference went way over my head. <laughs> You're not awesome. Who <laughs> you don't watch Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. You suck. I do love the irony just then that I went out my way to get a health pellet and hurt myself in the process. Oh, come on, fucking thing, out me way. There we go. <laughs> fucking thing, I like that name for it. Let's <laughs> just refer to it as the fucking thing. I could apply that to like any yeah. of us. Any of these really. So what if you actually see the thing from Fantastic Four? Is it the fucking fucking thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did like the fact that when you destroyed those robots, their propellers just went straight up after you blew up their bodies. <laughs> so it's sad now. Wonder what's next? Is it got some whack house villain? No, it's the turtle. It's Thunderbird 2. It, <laughs> no, you say that now, just wait until it starts attacking us properly. It goes full Thunderbird 2. But, like, this thing, I can't, I don't know exactly what's the best weakness for it. I'm just sort of using a bit of everything because I'm. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so it thought smaller turtles would work better than. Hold on, those turtles look like the ones from Sonic 2. They do, actually, yeah. <laughs> Which in turn looks sort of like squirtles, but yeah, we're coloured. Looks, looks kind of like the alligator snapping turtle. Oh, yeah, the bitey ones, aren't they? Yes, hence yeah. snapping turtle. I'm not or smart. bitey turtle, as you <laughs> like to call it. To look same. Yeah. <laughs> bitey, bitey. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My finger. I needed that. <laughs> it's stupid boss used crunch. It wasn't very effective. 
What's the like? Shell He's attack? cheating. Like squirrels of water type. He's using flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. It seems that that turtle garage thing, whatever it is, has copied the design of Sonic's ass. <laughs> it's yeah. infinite. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those like toys you see from Playgo or something like Let's play Animal Nursery <laughs> the little turtles come out. When it flies it just seems to relentlessly bash its head against the wall. This right. looks what like, am I doing here? This looks even more derpy than like the uh, turtle boss from Mega Man 3. It's like it, it resents itself. <laughs> well wouldn't you if this was your job? Pretty much. <laughs> uh, I have to just wait here Put in sort of an effort, I guess, and then die. Why doesn't he just kill Wiley? <laughs> we we want to check out what's on offer, like all the different robots, see if Wiley's actually going to try this time. Uh, we're still disappointed, but... <laughs> uh. Imagine Wiley on Dragon's Den. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this now. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, I need oh, 100,000 pounds to take over the world. <laughs> Robot so, that is capable yeah, so, of lifting heavy machinery. Will you take this on? Oh, because what in the off chance that it actually rebels and wants to wipe out all of humanity? Good point. <laughs> I'll rethink that one. It's like they've got a list of all the designs that he wants to make. Yeah, I'd just like to question you on uh, Bubble Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to achieve with this one? Yeah, what's the deal with Sheep you... Man? I mean... Uh... Yeah. Are you trying to perhaps startle a one-year-old or yeah. something? Yeah, a sheep Man, uh, well, what use could it possibly be is, aside from going in a petting zoo? A spring Man? Really? You're, you're trying to make slinkies threatening? Well, yes. it bounces, you see. Um... <laughs> the no. worst it's going to do is poke me in the eye with the sharp end. If it does have a sharp end. Now we're getting closer. <laughs> We've still got this one block in the way before we can do it. And great, it's always foreboding when you see two ladders. It's like one could potentially lead us to doom. You always pick the fuck up one, don't you? Uh, not always. Uh, I will say, when I sh deliberately showed off that dick moment in Mega Man 5, I did know it was there, I just wanted to make a point of how fucking cheap it was. But actually, that wasn't particularly a ladder, that was just which side you have to slide off of the platform. <laughs> Why did Wily give Mega Man the natural ability to fly? Because uh, we've got to do it the long way, haven't we? Go out, find the adapter, power up, use the adapter. Why do you keep hiding these things from me, Wiley, when you know I need them to defeat light? Oh, yeah. Look, it's another one of these sections, and I don't think we have the snow power to use this time. I just now realised I got the names muddled up. Yeah, I well, know, you do that. <laughs> it's always fair platforming when you don't know where the floor is, isn't it? It's... I suppose it's a little bit less dickish than Mega Man 2 where you got the fake out floor. Because like, out of all the things in a game I should be able to trust, I should be able to trust the fucking floor. <laughs> it must really piss off Mega Man when he sees the other robots standing around on the spikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, surely seven games in, Light must have found some sort of workaround for Mega Man's spike weakness. Because like, it must be like something on the base, well I'll say like on the base of his feet, but like if he hits the spike from the side he gets hurt as well, doesn't he? So, not really sure how that works. Here you go, I've made you out of this stab proof material now. This is fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's my workaround. Fair enough. Yeah. Now, if you go up that top route there, which I'm going to try to do half-heartedly and then give up, it, like there's a special kind of tank up there that's, I think it's an M tank, where it like just refills all your item, weapon power, and your health at the same time. It's useful to have, but I just didn't get it. At the time I was recording, I forgot it was there, so I just didn't go for it. But it does it does help you with the final boss if you because the final boss you will get through all of your e tanks in. Is this guy again? Yeah. No, you were such a threat last time, but it's corfish. 
Uh, not really. I don't really see crawfish in it. Yeah, it's shooting bubbles out of its claws. That's as close as I'm going to get to it. <laughs> it's a crab. <laughs> uh, not really. It's got six legs, has it? Oh, true. And it's walking forward. Uh, crabs seem to have difficulty with walking forward. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is uh, fair, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> You're supposed to just know where the things are. Oh, look at that there. If you get oh, that, no. you're fucked. That'd be so annoying. Yeah, but the thing, you're supposed to just know this. That's that level design in a nutshell. Like, if you don't know the game ahead of time, you're screwed. Mm. And a few little things like that, though, of why Mega Man 7 in particular bugs me. Like, I know Mega Man's never been an angel in that respect. Like, there are some dickhead sections in all the games, but I think that it's just blatant and in front of me. <laughs> at least most things there, there's at least a sort of chance. <laughs> this boss is quite annoying too. Now, these missiles that are shooting at you, you wouldn't you wouldn't naturally think you're supposed to jump on top of a missile being shot at you, would you? But no, that's what you're meant to do. You'd think the slightest touch would blow it up. Like, and you have to be very careful, because if you jump that little bit too early, a little bit too late, you're going to skim the front of it, and then that'll hurt you. And that laser thing's a fucking bitch as well. Yeah, well, I'm salty at this point. <laughs> you can't tell. Wait, so is that move the equivalent of uh, Woodman's? Pretty much, yes. Yeah. It's a wood shield thing. It works slightly differently, and I don't think you explicitly shoot it forward. If you fire it, you just sort of shoot it across, like, outward. But now I'm just literally trying everything, really. This one, I think, is the safest, if you can get down the missile thing. Why doesn't Light just let Mega Man keep the metal blades? <laughs> I don't know. That's a fun discrepancy that's never going to make sense, is it? He always takes his abilities away. <laughs> hmm. Is it Why? like? Is it like the takes them away, or do they like sort of expire? It's always a possibility, given the nature of robots and shit. But. It's like, right, I'm going to go find Dr. Wily again. Ah, oh, but first I need to wipe you clean, <laughs> otherwise you'll be cheating. <laughs> Dr. Light just likes Shalintrons. This boss is still alive. <laughs> I don't like this boss because of that. I know we always have like one section in the Mega Man runs where it's just like, yeah, this is still going this bit. <laughs> I wonder what the symbols on the uh, circles mean. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to think it's like something symbolic or at least means something, but like it might just be something stupid like robot or some shit like that. I think we're getting close to the end now, I think. And bear in mind, in between all of these bits, I went back to the shop to like fill up my tanks and stuff because I want to have that as safety. I will say I like this castle design quite a bit. It sort of stands proud and the purple colour looks really cool. That's where all his budget goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's had better castles in the other games though. Uh, I don't know, like, well, we know what's coming up here, let's be honest. It's uh, the, yeah. rough. And don't worry, I'm gonna skim for it a little bit. Like, I know I've kind of joked about it in the other ones, but this is one thing I've, I don't like as a game design thing, just repetition. Because uh, it, it's padding, isn't it? it? Like, yeah, I get that it kind of closes out the game. But we've done all this shit before, and I'd rather just sort of move on to the new boss, save us some of this extra wasted time. I find it odd that electricity can be used as a way to defeat a robot, which is powered by electricity. I suppose to like uh, blow the fuse or some shit. Depends on like the wattage. Ice spring man, ready to get cut in half again. There we go. Uh, 
I, I kind of wish it wasn't a staple of the series, but it, it's kind of for this point now where seven games in, if like I don't like the boss rushes, but it kind of feel weird if there wasn't one because they've yeah. established that as their sort of setup. So it, I'm kind of conflicted. Mm, and makes sense. This, I believe, this was my second take of the boss rush just because I wanted to make sure I still had plenty of shit for the actual wily bosses. When you hear people mainly talking shit about Mega Man 7, these bosses are pretty good reasoning why. Because, okay, the first phase, once you know what you're doing, it's fairly simple. As we're gonna see, like, I like the little spike from Star. Like, the spike beard going on. Oh, yeah. Well, it's so fucking slow, this robot, isn't it? Like, come on, mate. It is on pogo sticks. <laughs> yeah. My god. Well, Lee. Wiley, we need a little intervention here. Wiley, please. <laughs> Has anybody actually taught him the definition of threatening? Uh, well, it's basically where things bounce around, right? That, that he must have been fascin really fascinated with spring man <laughs> in this thing. I'd love it if he just had like two prototype spring men on his feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> we need all the springs, all of them. <laughs> How can I defeat Mega Man? I know, walking skulls. Yeah, them skull things there, they're more of a red herring than anything. They take so long to beat, you're better off just like jumping over them. And they just I'm... seem to die after a time anyway. Yeah, well that's when like, Wiley lands. But they take so long to beat, and normally in the time you're trying to fight them, if you want to take them out, he lands on you, or like he just walks into you in the time. So just worry about him. If they do hit you, you've got E-Tanks. Like, obviously don't waste them, because you're going to need it for the second phase, but it's an option that's there, so just worry more about actually beating the boss than protecting yourself. But are we ready for the most bullshit boss in the series up to this point? It looks fairly simple, doesn't it? Looks like the Mega Man 5 one, nothing different. And then we get these. Oh. Right, now what I'm going to say, the ice ones freeze you in place so you get hit by the lightning as he drops it down. The fire ones burn away a fuckload of your health. Look, I'm completely stocked up there just for safety. If you're going to jump and you don't think you can make the jump, try to jump into the yellow ones because they just give you one knock. Whereas the other ones take away so much of your health. Look, look, you saw how much that fire thing so took on me. Wily has learned try attack. <laughs> yeah. We'll try attack, but with four. But this, I don't know exactly how things are generated. I think it's RNG as to which of the little orbs he throws at you. But if there's a yellow one, the yellow ones do less to damage to you. So it's what you got to work around. But this, I'm not even going to lie or anything. I am safe scumming like a bitch in this run, just because it's so fucking hard. I love the fact that a cloth is what is concealing him from being seen. <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, it's the whole traditional magic thing, motif they're going for, I think, but I didn't even notice that given, you know, I've been playing this when I've been doing it, and, you know... Because <laughs> that hand comes out from the back and then just pulls away the sheet. It's like, ta-da! Mm. It is possible to dodge these, but you've got to quickly jump over the one that's closer to you and then slide under the one on the other side. And it's two motions, especially if Wily's spawned himself in an inconvenient place, it can be nigh on impossible to dodge. But like, we've seen how long this has been going, I'm still only taking down half his health. I can't remember if he gets faster, I don't think he does, but he gets more and more annoying as you get more conscious of your own health supply. Like, that was a pretty generous siren shape because it was mostly the yellow electric ones. Whereas that's not a generous siren shape because then that's... Like, he spawned on top of me, come on. Kind of embarrassing that his weakness is springs. Well, you can use spring mans, you can also use both the... Uh, freeze Cracker, which I'll be resorting to once I've used up all this energy. And you can use the Rush Adapter, you know, the Flying Punch thing. Uh, I think the Spring Man one does most damage, but the uh, Freeze Cracker is easiest to aim. 
And you do kind of need that reliable aim when you've got so much coming at you. Like you don't want to waste time getting hit unfairly. Well, now we know where every army ever has been going wrong. They should have been <laughs> using springs instead of guns. It's kind of like completely spun around, isn't it? <laughs> Wiley plays, you bore me now. Wiley, Wiley. <laughs> Do you find me intimidating now? No. It's just kind of sad at this point. Thinking back, Chris, I won't put you on the spot because I know you missed a couple of games, but out of all the final bosses we've seen, are there any you actually distinctly remember? I don't think there is one that I actually remember properly. <laughs> it... but, okay, fair enough. The I distinctly remember the Mega Man 2 one, you know, the alien. Oh, is yes. that the yellow oh. one? Yeah. Mm, that's the one where Wily turns into E.T. and <laughs> it doesn't look like shit. <laughs> and 3 Gamma's kind of okay, but other than that... Is it a final boss? The one um, who is uh, in uh, Smash Bros. Oh, no, that's the other devil you're yeah, thinking yeah, of. Nah, nah, that's, he? he wasn't the final boss, nah. He was like a white stage boss. This has got dark pretty fucking rapid. I gonna do! I gonna <laughs> do what I should have done! <laughs> Mega Man grammar, please. He's so angry, he forgot his spell check. <laughs> Capcom of not too good with the uh, right. like, grammar because I think it was the 3DS version of Resident Evil Revelations that they misspelled it as Re Revelations. <gasps> I am more than a robot. Die, Die Wiley! I wow. am more than a robot. <laughs> way Who? I swear this has happened before. Oh yeah, he's really dead, isn't he? <laughs> Wiley sure takes a beat then. <laughs> He's in a little bit of his problem <laughs> bouncing his head. <laughs> He's just been crushed by this girder. <laughs> but let's take the piss out of him by dropping this pebble on his face. <laughs> <laughs> too late, Mega Man. No, base. Too late, base. You're only just seeing me smash up my this shit. He who hesitates is lost. What? What, what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I get what they're going for. You know, the idea of, like, don't hesitate or you screwed up. Yeah. But that wording was kind of awkward. And to be fair, base, you kind of got your ass handed to you earlier. Twice. So. <laughs> well, three times if you count the intro stage. Well, he's walking away from an explosion, yeah. so it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool, Damn. guys, don't look at the explosions. <laughs> it is the very same thing. Uh, Damn. Yeah. It's like he's walking away from hell. <laughs> hmm. Like, that looks almost like a sort of demon yeah. face in the background. Now, this, as cool as it looks, for some reason when they ported this over to like the GameCube and PS2 in the US, this they didn't show any of these animations, they just showed the white text scrolling along the screen. Like, how boring can you get? Why would you take out this cool animation? <laughs> Bloody big explosion. Uh, I suppose we're getting sort of towards the time now, so final thoughts on Mega Man 7. Yeah. It's another Mega Man game, that's it. Yeah, that's true. I, I agree with Steven, it's kind of nice, uh, another Mega Man game. Uh, is this the first one to have different, sort of, the upgraded graphics? Right? Yeah, it was the first one on the Super Nintendo. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah. At least it looks nice. It does look nice, yeah, I suppose. In certain parts, so, like these visuals do look a little bit sort of sterile cartoon vibe like as though they have the visual quality but they don't have the art style to support it compared to X where it's got the more sort of I guess darker tones to the levels that make this, them yeah this one looks a bit more I don't know Mega Man sprites it's a bit more like I don't know it's kind of it, it doesn't it's not quite as cohesive as say Mega Man X or classic Mega Man is it Uh, we're getting the usual sort of, you know, we need to know all about these specific robots that we could all technically show on one screen and just put the designers next to it, but 
Nah, no, we've just got to do the thing. I guess it kind of... It presents it well enough, but... Yeah. I don't know. When you say so many credits <laughs> sections, you just sort of tire of them after a while, but... Yeah. I kind of want to take the mic out of how... Wiley tried making clouds threatening as well, but then again, the weather can be devastating in a way, so... Yeah, I think because it's Cloud Man and it looks like a silly cloud, as opposed to, say, Air Man, where it was more threatening, sort of... Like, he, he although, a, yeah, he was a fan. He was like, a walking fan. Yeah, but like, he's at least got that wind power behind him, whereas Cloud Man... Clouds are more passive than a fan, aren't they? But like, at least it shot out lightning. Yeah, very, very frightening. I'm sorry, I, it's the credits, I have nothing else. <laughs> uh, I'll let you pass on that one. Mm. Cloud Man kind of reminds me of like a Blade Blade in design, <laughs> at the bottom bit of him. Uh, yeah, it's he, they use it to spin and make the cloud fly in it. Yeah, <laughs> with that, I just sort of think about, you know, the Egg Viper from Sonic Adventure. That's the most Beyblade Blade attack I've seen. Oh, the yeah. Same, like, that's a fucking Beyblade. Blade. And I think there's one like that in Sonic Advance 2. There's Shay Man doing his gentleman sort of. It's like he's bowing out. <laughs> yeah. What are the things on the floor called that um, you step on the floor and it speeds up? A boost pad? They're, they're like enemies. Oh, oh whatever. I'm not sure what ones you mean. Do you know like, when you step on the ground and then like it will speed up? Like a, it's like a little blade blade thing. Oh, yeah, those little uh, disc things that had spikes on them. Whenever you stepped on the floor, suddenly they'd move. Uh, my brain is you, home. You'd shoot them every now and then to stop them, like freeze them in place. Do it like every Mega Man game. Path. The image is lifting away. Yeah, that's how you know you're towards the end of a credit scene, really, isn't it? But these only feel so long because of how long the Wily stages felt like they were dragging out. There's a nice touch, like the one little shooting star that like shows before it starts moving, isn't it? But now we can go <laughs> shopping in peace. It crushed 20 houses while he was off fighting silently. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh. And yeah, it is one of these sort of credits things that, well, it is one of these endings that sort of just finishes after yeah. so long. They're not even going to question the fact that Mega Man said that he wanted to kill Wily. What I love is this is the very distant future. We've got all this robot technology. And this Sepia photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all we just get hold of. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, we've had all these advancements in war and combat robots. We can't fix up that fucking camera. <laughs> oh, well... Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mega Man 7. It's a little bit more exciting from what I recall of it, so hopefully that'll be a little bit more <laughs> enjoyable for me to record, because I noticed I did procrastinate recording Mega Man 7 for about a year, because fuck that game. <laughs> but yeah. We're out of the way now. Yeah, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.